What's going on, man? What's going on? Welcome. Welcome to another edition of the G4 Elite Show. I am your host, Measy Numbers. I got my co-host, official friends right here. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got people on the side of me. What's up, what's up? We got a special guest. We got a special guest. I'm going to let him introduce himself. It's your boy, A.O. Kitty, man. You know what's going on, man. You finna rock out. Okay, okay. I'm talking about whole vibe today. I'm super excited. It's the rap edition of the G4 Elite show. And now uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some we're gonna talk about some stuff. Huh? Y'all excited? Yeah. Man, listen, let me ask y'all. So so how was y'all weekend? What what y'all do? I went out I went out for the weekend. I went to a I went to a t shirt club and I just had fun with my Strip clubs? Yes. I Which ones? Movies. I'm in the King of Diamond. The new one? Yeah. Oh, shit. You been there? You been to, you been to King of Diamond yet? No, not yet. I just got started. Hmm. Yeah, I had fun. What was it? What was it, what was it like? It was great. It was like big movies, little movies, fat movies, all types of movies. Okay, on a scale oh, of one to ten, how would you rate the club? Like, it was like, there it was some like, baddies in there? They, their bodies was right? Yeah, it was all types of girls, like nice bodies. It's like whatever you want to see. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna be 100 with you. But I haven't seen, I haven't been to the club or not, but I've seen everybody promoting it. And uh, it's like a whole vibe, bro. That club looks that down on the inside. They got midgets tripping the whole nine. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Every day I play him on board. You want know, like a four, four feet? I want a midget stripper. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, bro, Them midget right. strippers been going up lately, and I want my. I, I got my money. I want. So why you want a midget stripper? She gonna be right there, standing right there with It's just something about it. It's like a mystical, like a unicorn or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like look at this woman, like this midget, just, just, just in front of me, just like shaking her fat little small booty. But she toss in the air, go up, don't yeah. Maybe. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. I'm, I'm just gonna let her do her thing. What you say? Fun size. Fun size, man. Fun size. You ever had a stripper? You ever got you ever had a uh, dance by a stripper? Yeah, like a yeah. not a stripper, but like a midget, I'm sorry. Midget stripper. Nah. Okay. Well yeah. we gotta put that on our bucket list. Did you yeah, okay, yeah, did yeah. you get did you get one? I you. No, I don't I I would run for the midget. Cause like they so tiny. Oh, so they tiny. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I like They creep you out, huh? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> when I see it, <laughs> when I see it, I don't know. Oh, shit. It's like I'm in a circus. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she just really said that shit. She don't give a fuck. Yo, we in the G4 Elite Show. Man, we, welcome, we, we welcome, welcome, man. We just having a good time. Real, you know good, vibes, good vibes, good vibes. it's all good vibes. She don't need no more vibes. So we got a whole lot to talk about today, man. And uh, we're going to get into some of the things before we get into this guy, this great guy we're going to interview. And you can you can also inter- interact with some of these questions and some of these topics we about to talk about. Yeah, sure. We want you involved. You feel me? Uh, you, you know you do the sports thing, man. What's what's going on in the sports? I mean, shit. You know how that go. All things going on in the sports, but uh, how y'all feel about LeBron possibly out for a whole goddamn month? Mm. Oh, you looking at me? Go ahead, say say what you need. I'm just like seeing him run up and down on the court. Ah, see, we don't care about don't show us run back and forth. Well, they ain't gonna be running up and down for the whole season. He he's out. (laughs) He done. That's that's messed up to me. I'm like, damn, the goat out for real. Is it like by a month and a half? You think he's gonna affect this Wednesday game championship, or you think it's gonna be better? As far as getting the chip this year? Yeah, because you know he can rest now. It'll make a better story. It'll make a better story. Um, me personally, I don't know. I like LeBron James. Um, as far as him being out, I'm, my, my question or what I'm thinking about is who's going to step up. You know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron James getting old. Let's keep it real. He's been in the game for a long time. He is yeah, got a lot of wear and tear on his body. Like, shit, somebody got to be next. So I want to see who who ball out. You know what I'm saying? Them six weeks he out. <laughs> only AD is out too, so the only person Ooh. who will step up is uh, Schroeder and Kuzma. We, he just so. Now so you talking about? So you talking about the Lakers? Kuzma, but, yeah, I, I, I fuck with them. Okay, okay. You know they need Brian. They need AD. What you think, man? Man, yeah, they need. They definitely need Brian. <laughs> oh gang, because you know Brian. Brian do it. Brian's that. Brian's that. Brian's that guy. 
So, so I'm gonna tell you from the G4 Elite Show, man, Brian Brown. We hope you get better, man. Get better, man. You the face of the NBA. Yeah, we yeah. rooting for you to come back. Real talk, man. Shout out to LeBron James and his whole family. Doing a good job over there. Shit, what else we got? What's going on? You, you know, you, you got some stuff going on over there. Oh yeah. What y'all think about Cardi B? She just got her eyes pinched. Got her eyes like pinched, pulled back, like more chinky. Wow. We got to show the picture in the post. You know we gonna show it in the post. Yeah, we gonna show it all. Yeah. yeah. I seen it though. I seen it. I seen it. You ain't seen it? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I seen it. That's crazy. Shit. I'm going to show you the picture. No. Show them the picture, but we can talk about it. What you think? Let's talk. What you think though? I, mean, I guess she wants to look a little Chinese or something. Like, she wants to be like, ching, ching, something. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I seen it and maybe was it fresh the picture you showed me like how yeah, fresh what well, she had just had it done she just had posted yesterday she looked, she looked, so, so she'll settle into it is it something that she'll it's like you can well she, I guess she was swollen okay and then you know the stomach gotta go down or whatever so she'll but, settle into it then yeah it looks nice with different hairstyles okay I'm gonna get my eyes pinched back a little bit <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all my take on it. What I seen was a small version of a little Kim effect, and the little Kim effect is when you start getting money and you start playing with yourself. You start thinking what got you there wasn't good enough, and you start buying into all these products and these cosmetics. I'm just not feeling that. I just feel like once you start playing with your nose, then your your chin ain't good enough, then your lips ain't good enough, and then you're going to start looking plastic, and you're not going to like yourself. Yeah. Like, like, I'm just care. worried about that. You know uh, what I'm saying? He said, Chloe, because once you start, like, you're going to have to keep going to get it done. Right. Right. So it's not going to start, and that's it. Like, you got and she's young. She don't have to do that. That's my that's my thing. Like, why are you? Yeah. Like, I'm going to put a side note, and then I want to get your take on Cardi, my dude. Side note, Chloe just got something else done. She don't look natural, bro. That's just side note. And that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm talking about. She, she, but before the surgery, she looked bad as fuck. And that's what and I'm talking about. And then she went a little extra, and now you can see the fucking plastic or whatever the fuck that shit is. And guess what she gonna be trying to do? Look like Michael Jackson. She gonna try she to keep fixing. Yeah. And guess what you gonna keep doing? Looking more and more different. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, the, I ain't saying little things, but it starts small it and starts it get small. big. And I'm just, mm. yeah. Me personally, I like my big nose. You see this nose? It ain't going nowhere. I don't give a fuck, Hollywood. Hey, you're going to have to accept me for who I am. You know what I mean? Big facts. <laughs> KD, now you saw the picture. Yeah. What's your take, bro? She should stay how she was, for real, for real. Okay. Mm. She, she, looked, she looked way better, though, for real. She looked way better. Guys, because when we look at other females, we'll be like, oh my gosh, my stomach is so fat. I want that small stomach like JM. Or, oh my gosh, look at my nose. My nose is so so y'all would just be like, whatever. Y'all walk around with this six months pregnant in the stomach, and we just walk inside y'all. And we not even gonna think about y'all stomachs, but self confident. Yeah, yeah. Right. facts. Don't worry about my stomach. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> y'all not worried about it, but as females, we think we be like, oh my goodness, my eyes, my nose, my facts. stomach, my butt. So what's wrong with the gym though? What's wrong with going to um you know work out? What's wrong with getting back in shape? That's not wrong with that. Oh no! Like I want my son to be like this big. Right. Oh my god! I'm getting done next month. I got. I'm sorry. I got. I got to cut you off on that because I I agree with a little bit of what you're saying when you say like y'all so self conscious about it because let's be honest, niggas talk that talk. They gonna be like, ah, bitch, you uh, bitch, you ugly, or bitch, you whatever, and that and the girl's emotional. They might go to depend on surgeries or life or whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. So I agree with that. When you say that it's not fast enough, that's why I disagree. Like, come on, man, take the time, I'll get it right. Yeah, you can do it yourself. Facts. Do it yourself. But sometimes, and then on top, it of might that, be I too say, much fat, and the doctor will be like, "Well, you can do all the exercises you want." And it still is going to hang right to the left. To now, the I understand right. those type of surgeries. So then you the ones like, that's okay, just like, just gotta get that they're not going to get fixed. Right? And, and another surgery I understand is the ass. I mean, you can go all the shit you want to the gym. It might come up 10%. But if you need, but if you got a flat ass, you got a flat ass. You might need. Yeah. All right, so let me tell you my take on that though. Like for real, if you ain't got a dude that fuck with you for who you are, as far as your body's concerned, then you don't need to talk. You are not not if, if you're doing it for the opposite sex, 
I don't believe in that. You feel me? He should love you. Like, you, you beautiful right who you are. I got a little gut, but you got to accept me for who I am. Don't talk to people that's going to pressure you to do all this extra stuff. That can. I don't see somebody down on that surgery table because they're trying to do all that type of extra stuff. And I'm just not, I'm not co-signing it. I'm going to be real with you. I don't feel it. It's okay if something is like you had like a baby and that baby fat just won't go away. You're just trying to like cut that off. But doing it for all those other reasons for like, for other guys I, and a lot of women say i'm not doing it for other guys i'm doing it for myself right for but i know you're really doing it for the i know what you, everybody, if it wasn't why would you do it you're doing it for something you want your clothes to look better really? better um you want everything just to be like when you put it out now before the show oh, hold on, hold on. Like, KD, oh we ain't heard from you yo yo shit on your um whole idea on this yo, shit man. just like me said Facts. Me, I'm, facts. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, if it makes you look better, do it. But it's a slippery slope, guys. Like you, you will fall addicted to that shit. So be careful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I will say that. And honestly, the last thing I'll put on that, it ain't on you. It's ain't you. You know what I'm saying? People fuck with you for your character. That's why. That's why you said that I don't fuck with you. Facts. They know that truth. Like I can look like whatever. But if I, if I feel like I'm a shit, I'm a shit. Period. Like, bitch thing. You know what I'm saying? Period. We gonna, we gonna win with that gut. We're going to win with whatever. We're going to get this bag, and them hoes are going to fall. That's how we feel, whether they fall or not. Right, me? Right, I feel you, me? I feel you on that one. I feel you on that one. That's our attitude. Yeah, you know what that's your attitude. And trust me, niggas fucked up, so it don't... <laughs> you, you worry about the penis. Niggas be fucking dumb. Yeah, penis. Oh, yeah, you worry Lord. about the penis. They, they still Lord, don't Lord. come. Lord have mercy. No, like, y'all, these penis out here is all types of size. Baby oh, there you go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All types of we gonna switch over to the next conversation on that one. What, what else we got, man? What else we got? Cause we got we got to get into my big homie over here. Oh my god! What you want to talk about? You got some of us. Uh, yeah, uh, Quavo and Sweetie break up, and he wow. took his car back. He took his car back. That's some play shit. Play shit. I really don't know about Quavo and Sweetie besides Quavo's cool, and they look like they was happy. Um, I'm saying I'm hearing about it now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Nobody knows huh? what happens behind closed doors. You think it was publicity? Because yeah. of that, because they knew the album coming out. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was in spirit. Who got, who got an album coming out? Who? Uh, the Migos. Oh, oh the drop, right? yeah. that's true. Culture three about to drop. Culture but three about to drop. Sweetie in California with a whole other nigga already. No. Yeah, bro. Not, already. She must have been checked out the relationship. She said she did. You must have been checked out the relationship. There's no way she would have do that fast. What you mean? She said she been checked out a long time ago. It's been over. They just let everybody know now. So let me ask you this though. This is a question that says way into it. He took his Bentley back, right? How y'all feel about taking y'all gifts back if y'all break up with somebody though? Like, like why you want your stuff back? <laughs> A Bentley? She said, "Why? You know how much a Bentley costs?" We talking, talking, we talking, we talking about his. Nah. Nah. Okay, That's true. Like, you were India giver, like you gave me that. You want to take it back? Right. That's why I had my stuff in my friend's house. Like all my important stuff. All right, all right. It's gonna be at my friend's house. Yeah, it's um, facts, facts. You, are, you, you do have a point, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like, gonna decide. That's like if I buy you some stuff, and I buy you a necklace. I'm like, give my necklace over with. Facts, nah, that's crazy. And then you be like, my niggas don't be like, no, I want my niggas, no, don't. But look, he ain't taking away the necklace, he took away the devil. I know, but don't. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring it back to a real road. But we ain't talking about them, we talking about you. Will you take, do you take back your gifts? Like, no, I, I don't, I don't you take keep it? them gifts. Do you give somebody to give you one? Yeah, you ain't, you don't let them keep it. I'm gone, I'm gone, and that's just what it is. It's true, true, that's true. Right. So that you the bitch. What about you? Do you, are you? What do you feel oh, about that? You breaking up? You want it? You want it back? I'm a, I, listen. I don't want everything back. But if it's a Bentley, and you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm Quavo the big homie though. He got that shit. He got that bag. Bentley, and, but a Bentley, like that is nothing. If it's my mouth, wow, it's a nothing. Bentley is not nothing. Like you, what is this like? Uh, shit, let me get one. A Bentley is just <laughs> a Bentley. It's something. It's something. It ain't nothing. But she ain't worried about that. She collect enough funds. She got enough funds. Right, right. So it don't even matter. You Oh, um, which way? I met a couple of females. Keep us. I ain't really care about that. Okay, that's what's up. That's play. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, I haven't. I'm gonna be real. I ain't gave nobody a million. I ain't gonna say it cap. Yeah, My man, biggest gift is, you know, what I'm saying it's decent size gift. So yeah. I do let you keep what I give you. Yeah. Like as far as I'm concerned. So they yeah, no yeah. Tell you. yeah, that's what it is. So make buy around. Listen, like, we bosses over here, man. If I give you something, man, it's because I want you to have it. And I want you to think about how you missing a real nigga like yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? You done missed out. What you talking about? You can have that. That's yours. That's you over there. Oh, Indian giver. A whole Indian giver. A whole Indian If it's a big nigga, nah, you can keep that little jury. Facts. Facts. Yeah, you can keep that little jury. Shit, if you don't know where you at, man, welcome to the G4 Elite Show, man. I got KD, AOKD over here, right here. He's going in, going heavy. We got official Queen France, Playboy P, and we just talking that talk, man. We just having, you know, barbershop talk, regular mm-hmm. talk. That's what we do. Ain't no, ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. So we're we going to get into my homie, Mr. AOKD. Uh, let's talk about it, man. Where you from, man? Chicago. Chicago. Ooh, where it get burr. It get, a little, it get cold yeah, up there. Yeah, it cold. Is it cold up there right now? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a wind. Like, it's kind of trying to play up there. It's a wind. It's, it's a wind. It's still cold. It's, it's windy city. So, do it snow there? Yeah, a lot of snow. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a whole it's snow. It's a lot of snow. Like, that shit. Mm. I heard, I heard. Turn right. to your knees. Wait. Yeah, that's a cool mm. thing. Yeah, that shit get high. Yeah, I heard the water just crazy. Shot yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot straight. Shot. Salute to the Chicago area, man. Y'all see, we see we got one of y'all own up in here, man. So what street you from, Mike? Let's let's like what, let's let's talk about them boroughs. Oh yeah, 65th and Bishop. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Southside Inglewood. That's what's up, man. So how'd you get in the rap game? Like how all that started? Really, when my um, my mama passed away, and my cousin passed away, and my cousin was really pushing. Was he in the rap game or he just like he just believed he, in you? He was rapping too. He was both, you know, rapping. You say was like where is he at now? He passed away. Oh wow. Yeah, Lorenzo. Wow. Lorenzo. Gang life, street life, like really like with the females. He wasn't in no gang. It was like females that like, set him up. She set him up? Yeah. Damn. Crazy. Like, he was a ladies man, but he was yeah. just doing it. Yeah. Like, and so all y'all ballers out there, y'all, you know, when y'all city to city, be careful, man. People will set you up. For real. It's crazy, man. So that's what got you started and you just kept going in the industry. Yeah, it, it really like he got me started by like opening my eyes, like just to tell my story. Like we both rapping, we everything together. Like we both got the same thing. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was up. Um, and then from like so you say your cousin got you started and then like, what was your viral moment? Like, that moment, like, you know, you're pushing along, you try, you know, getting in the rap game. Like, what, what, like, what it took to get you to that next level? Because that shit hard. I ain't gonna lie. You know how many people trying to get where you at right now? What was your, what was your breaking point? When, um, when 50 Cent had shit, like, I think it was on my, um, Bobby Murder this is when 50 Cent had shit, that shit. Like, I'm sorry, say what? That was a Bobby Smurder? Yeah, it was a Yeezy. It was a Bobby Smurder murder disc. Bobby Smurder. You know Bobby Smurder. Wow. Yeah, man. You and Bobby Smurder not cool? I said, I ain't got no words with him, but since then, though. Wow. I'm sorry. The reason why I asked you. Like, a long time ago, when, like, because you know when Chicago, like, had that little, that drill sound. Yeah. He came out with, like, that that drill sound, like. He was in Chicago, they really ain't under that. So. Right, if you're not he from the city, don't be just, don't he be repping our, our brand like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Everybody thought like, when he came out, it's cause everybody thought he was from Chicago. Mm. Yeah. So I could, the beef helped your career. Yeah. <laughs> sure. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Y'all got any questions over there? I don't want to just over something. You know. I was listening to some of the music, and I like the song called Never Did. Oh, uh, yeah. I just recently did that. What's never that about? It started off talking about I want to date. Oh, yeah. All right, go. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Kick that hook for us, bro. Give us a hook. 
We started out talking, now we on a date, not like these niggas, cause she never hate whenever I need it, and she on the way, shorty my rider, cause she on my way, hey. he's behind and then we on the chase. Hey. Hey. Yeah, we on the chase, shorty my drug, cause she got me lace, I come from the shine, she come from the eight. Hey. Walk. Hey. Hey. And all of these niggas be hating, these bitches be hating, but we go on mall. Hey. She got me doing shit I never did with bitches, now we playing golf. Whoa. I hear that she sucking me off. Hey. No comment, she loving it raw. Oh. Hey. Yeah. hey, I'm fucking with that, man. That shit heavy. Hey. That shit heavy. Hey. That shit hey. heavy, man. Hey. That's hey. gang gang. Salute to you, hey. man. Right, so that's the one you was listening to, huh? Yeah. Why you always why you always talking about some freaky stuff? I thought I was the nasty person. I thought I was the nasty person on the show. Shit, I think I got my match. Yeah, she matched you. She matched you, bro. Man, that's hard, man. That's hard. I have made that long, but I got with a girl from Atlanta from Okay. Oh, so that's true story. True story. True story. We love true story. Yeah, man. Listen, man. I, I love the fact that you got them just evolving in the game, and you really, you know, you've been in the game like how many years now? Five. And you still got so much room to grow. Like you feel me? Like five years a long time in the industry. Yeah. Like, you, do you feel like you hit, you hit your like you made like you like that that point where you like that break like that super break? You think you made it yet? Are you are you at that point yet? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think I made. Like a lot of people. Yeah, you yeah, still got that hunger. I would, but I still I'm always have. That's what's up, man. Yeah. You got to keep yeah, that in there. I get like uh, millions in my account for real. So. Damn right. Yeah, damn right. Hey, say that again, the millions. Make sure you put it in your account. Yeah. Not, not in there, it's yours. You feel People, you got anything? What you want to ask? Nah, man. Well, first off, I'll just say salute. On, on some real shit though, like you already know when we talk about AOKD and shit like that, you had all kinds of beef. You mentioned about this murder. Yeah. What was that six <clears throat> nine beef like though? What was that shit? That was some false internet shit or was that based on some real shit? <laughs> nah, it was really some real shit though. For oh, real? Yeah. Six six nine. Yeah, six nine. Man, that that rat. I don't know about. Oh, how the hell he did, like? How did he get hit? Damn, like really? KD, he, he just chopped the world. But you ain't like like he just went after like all the like the top Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That was very strategic. Lil Easy, like all of me, like he just chose me to want to take it. That's how he. But you took that's that how he grew though. But I didn't really take it. Like, I really, I, I didn't want nothing to happen to him, but I did want somebody to see about him. Like, you know how you talk to somebody, you finally see him, and it's like it go down. I really wanted him to have that moment. He still ain't had that moment. You know what I'm saying? He got too much security at this point, which I. Yeah, at this point. It's crazy. Yeah, he, he, is he off? Is he off limits, or can he still get touched? It gotta come from the inside. Only, only if you're doing his hair. <laughs> if you're doing his lace front. Catch him off guard. Biking his hair down. So we got to get him a hair. We got we to gotta sneak and get a hairstyle when he yeah. comes to Atlanta. You got to. We got to get somebody. Yeah. And he's going to be like, oh, I'm pulling up and ready to get my So if you see 6 9 right now, would you really have beef right now or just be like, just like, fuck that shit, it's over with? He's the police. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. How you feel about like, like just all the stuff that's going on in Chicago, the, the history of the, like the gangs and stuff that's going on up there. Like, how you feel about like that, the killing and stuff? Like, what's your take on it? It it, it be regular to me for real, cause it's like that's like how I grew up, like seeing all this crazy shit. You feel me? Like, right. So it's normal to you. It's like it's like being in Vietnam. It's like shit. I was born in this shit. It ain't even like. It's Monday. Y'all acting like it's on the outside. Yeah, we yeah. see it as it's crazy. Cause look, it's a lot of people get killed, man. It's a lot yeah, of people dying. Yeah, it, 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 this shit's crazy. Yeah. Like, this shit crazy. At first, I ain't, at first I ain't see nothing else. Yeah, I'm glad you had to step away and get out of there, man. Salute you leaving the city, man. And I and I really pray that Atlanta, I mean Chicago, don't like 
just keep that shit going. I hope it can be a city that just come to peace at some point. I don't know. It's crazy, but I mean, that's just no way to grow up, man. It's just, just like what they call it. It's like it's, it's like some type of uh, psychology you gotta have in order to just kind of release from that shit. It's crazy. Hey, I got a question for you. Who your favorite rapper? My favorite rapper right now and when you were growing up. Right now, right now, right Soldier Boy Soldier. Hard. Soldier Boy Soldier. Soldier Boy Now I'm for like, a little bit of the Stunners from Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Salute to the Stunners from Vegas. That shit, them boys they is hard. Energy, bro. Yeah, this they is crazy. Know, yeah. That's dope. Who would, you, who would you do a song with right now? Like right now? Like on you know, some old right now shit? Anybody? Um, the only person. Trippy. I like Trippy. Trippy, Trippy boy, he's a little dog. Trippy's a vibe. Yeah. You know who Trippy Red is? <laughs> Trippy's an artist. That, I'm like, he's, he's hard. That's, that's, he was beefing with 6ix9ine too. Him and, they had the biggest beef. Him and 6ix9ine and Trippy was going back and forth. Yeah. You want to put Cody Ray on it? Cody Ray. Uh, we were dating Cody Ray. We did that no more party. Mm-hmm. Bro, yeah. I'm so glad you said that. What is and I think you brought this up. We got a little group chat, everybody, but I think you brought this up. Mm-hmm. I think y'all start taking contracts out with these girls because y'all date them and then they turn to whole celebrities. That should be crazy. That <laughs> shit, like, now they date whole celebrities. Like, they so, so you mean, like, manage them early before they blow up? Or? Get a percentage. So, listen, if we're going to be in the spotlight, if we really going to date in the spotlight, I, I know this sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but my wife's not crazy. Right. You date me, you level them the fuck up. Not one level, not two levels. You go know, a whole celebrity. Facts. I need a contract. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Like, yo, I need a contract. But how do you know if they going to leave you? It's just, you know, that's like, nah, fuck that's that, foreseeing the future or some shit. You know? Nah. I, 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 don't I don't know. know. I, I just I did. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel. So you dated a female that was with you for clout? She was only with you for clout? Yeah, that happens, man. It, it's hard. Like, I, was, I was blowing up at the time, though. You feel me? Like, I was like, yeah. how do you, how do you like going forward? Like, how do you see that shit? Like, but you just with me for clout. Like, how do you, as an artist of your magnitude, like, how can you tell somebody really fucking with you? Or like, but you just here for the bag. You know what I'm saying? For the bag, but they won't they won't pull up in your head, man. And you gonna just walk out the house and mm-hmm. trying to do your own. Right, while we got the camera on every second. Right, I hear you on that. You got the camera on every second. But yeah, but see, that's the dumb ones, though. There's some smart ones, bro. It's True. professional motherfucking. Sleeper bad. cells. She, said, she played a good role for a long time. Bro. Professional messages and, and posts. So, wow. so that's why I'm paranoid. You already know. Wow. Okay, so Francis, you, you, date, you date a lot of celebrities. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> how do you. Whoa. How you, how do you, how do you not seem like, a, like, you know, like you there for the wrong reasons or whatever? Are you really there for the wrong reasons? No, I be catching feelings for them. You do? Yeah, yeah I believe it too. Then they be getting crazy. Right. Don't think because of TV. No, they be crazy behind, like. Yeah, celebrities get crazy they, too, they for real. Still hurt them, so they still have feelings. Yeah. So, like, I'll be quiet. And don't let them see you with another, don't let them see you with somebody else out. Oh, shit. It's a problem. I can see that. I can see that. Like some, oh my God. You know, I will tell y'all about what happened yesterday, but I'm gonna talk to you later. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. We got AOKD in the building, man. Salute to you, man. Salute, man. So, what you want to talk about? What you want to talk about, man? Give, it's, it's your time. Like, you know, it's your platform as well. You can you can market what you want to market, man. What you got going on? I got a new video finna drop. It's gonna go. Mm-hmm. It's gonna go viral. It's called Smoke. Okay. Shout out to so, uh, Smoke. We getting the exclusive. Ooh. Oh, yeah. KD. Y'all heard it here first at the G4 Elite. What's the name of it? Smoke. My boy dropping Smoke. That shit gonna go hard. I ain't even heard it yet. You ain't let me hear it for the show. You gotta let me hear it after we get off the show for real. Smoke. What else you got going on, man? Oh, we ain't even talk. We ain't even talk about this. He's in my movie. Meet the Snows. No, that's how I'm on. We connected. We connected. I met, I met, hey, look, he's in the movie Meet the Snows. Shameless plug. I got a movie called Meet the Snows coming out soon. 
And uh, it's an action movie about sex trafficking. And I got my boy K. I got shit to do now. You want to check that out though, man? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. What was your experience like on set for me, man? What was it like? I mean, it was lovely. You feel me? Yeah. Like it was kind of crazy because it was out of my league. So yeah. Like, I wasn't there. I felt bad because like I wanted to be there to kind of like it was, like, was, like, was a vibe yeah, though. Yeah. My boy yeah. Robert. Shout out to Robert, the director, man. He a whole vibe. He does a great job directing, man. So you know, I hope you enjoyed your spirit. Your homeboy on there too, wasn't he on there? Your homeboy. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's on there for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we put the homie on. Put the homie on. Yeah, we put him on, man. So speaking of that, man, I don't even want to get into it too heavy. How do you feel with dudes clout chasing off of you? Do you feel like dudes clout chase off of you as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what it be like when you be on stage performing and you be right here and they be all the way right here, little pumped up? You said that. Like when you be getting on stage performing, and that's the you know they come all the way right here in the middle and start like just be so extra. Oh yeah, yeah that's um, that's I a really, fan. I really, yeah, no, I really. they no, that's somebody that's with him on the stage. Oh right. Okay. And you know how they be in the back and they come all the way right here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay. yeah I see. What you're I'm talking about like how how females be clout chasing dudes or partner up with somebody that's famous. And really be like worse than yeah, yeah. they be worse than they be worse yeah, than yeah, female. Yeah, they be stalking you and shit. Like, bro, I just met you, bro. Like, why is you like thinking I'm gonna make you become famous? It don't work like that. Well, you gotta work hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a little weird when a, another dude called another dude and texting. You know what I mean? Right, like he ain't got a, a old lady. He ain't got downtime. He want to just do his own thing. You know, what I mean? it's crazy, crazy. Man, appreciate you for being in my movie though. Oh, yeah. And you did good. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm excited. I'm excited to see for you to see it. You gotta tell the world that you know you in it. And it's, it's dope. I see you in it. It's dope. Yeah, right, yeah. What song you was promoting? Because you was really trying to promote that song. You say, "Hey, yo, play up." What was the name of that song? I was for real. Like, I, I showed up. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't your song? Was you featured on it? That was dope. God, bro. I hear a real one. God. Hey, that's one. I that's always got real vibes from him. I did. I that's did. I met him through RV. Shout out to RV, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Shout out to RV. That's my homie, man. Big RV. You see you out here. You see you. We got your boy on the G4 League show, man. Dang. Shout out to you, RV, whoever you are. <laughs> Shout out to you, though. You got a real one that promoted your song. No, it wasn't his song, but he he introduced me to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we got we got his big head out. He in the movie too. He and Meet the Snows. He's being humble, but me and him have a whole little scene in Meet the Snows. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. I was trying to get you. I was trying. I don't yeah. say it. Uh, yeah, yeah we gonna keep that on the on the whole tuck. I was trying. When she when she see it, she gonna be like, damn. You I should have been in there. You call me a little bit, man. Yeah, that's how I move. You gotta be ready. I hit him last minute. He on the show. You know what I mean? That's how we move. <laughs> it's all good. Hey man, we on the elite show. We got my boy KD. Hey yo, KD on this thing, man. We super excited to have him on the show. Let me ask you about your gaming thing, man. When we talk behind the scenes, you really be on that video game. Are you really a gamer? Oh yeah, man. I keep it up, sure. Yeah. I be um, streaming, being on Twitch, talking to my fans and stuff on the game. Okay. You got a Twitch. You got a Twitch account. It's how it's, it's like a lot of followers and all that. Yeah, the real AOKD. That's what's up. Okay, the real AOKD on Twitch. Hey, you make a bag off that shit too, right? I heard about the gaming thing. It's really getting big right now. That shit big. Like if you like record yourself playing, people be watching. My kids be all over it. They love that Fortnite. They they going crazy on this. What's your favorite game? Call of Duty. Call of Duty? That's the one? Yeah, that's See, that's because he's from Chicago. You know, that's that sniper shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that shit they call that one. The <laughs> first one he called that one. Shoot the dick, pop, pop, pop. You know what I mean? <laughs> it is lit. I ain't going to lie. I fuck with it a little bit, man. Hey, man. So, I'm going I'm to let these let, let my guests ask whatever they want to ask. It's all good. It's about. Uh, do you write a lot of your music? 
Nah, I really like the one like with the most views. I I write some sometimes like when I'm like in the mood, but I really just freestyle. Really? Like, all of it, yeah. That's tough. Like, what is it? Like that never day I really just like freestyle and just tell them just keep punching me in. Like I'll just say say something, say something, say something. Like keep that punch in. Just go and hand it. But that's so free, bro. Dope. That means you can make songs whenever you feel like it. Yeah. Uh, dope, dope, dope. Just like me. I'm just sitting down with me writing, writing, thinking, thinking, writing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. What's the whole vibe, man? My, my son, he got you something. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm moving fast, but my son actually has his own clothing line. And he actually wanted me to, to present a shirt to you. So I'm, I'm going to go get it real quick. Y'all give me one second to go get the shirt, man. Shout out to my son. He got a uh, trouble kid clothing line. He wanted to get it to my man, so I'm going to make sure I go get it. Man, he over here getting going. presents and gifts. Hey, hey man. man. That's my boy. <laughs> we really got a G4 league. Crazy how you got a G4 league. You know what's going on. Shout out to G4 league. <laughs> I definitely got to go take the bathroom break, though. <laughs> you need a bathroom break? That's cool, man. We're about to wrap up. I'm sure we is. I'm sure we is. But you feel good? Like, you don't ask for everything you got asking? Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 yeah. Now I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie. I'ma just talk about something. I'm gonna talk about what the streets wanna hear about. All that beef shit. Like my nigga, you all over the internet. Yeah. I'm crazy. Sure. You know what I'm saying? From the beef with Takashi, yeah, about sure. murder, we we talked about that. Fights and shit. And then you doing your thing like that. But then let's move away from shit. You even on shit talking about when you broke up with your girlfriend or some shit like that. You kept it real about that. Shed yeah. tears about that shit. My nigga, mm-hmm. how are you so comfortable being exposed like that for real, for real? Online. And yeah. you know niggas gonna talk. Oh, uh, yeah, for real. You for know real. niggas gonna talk. See, they gonna talk about Jesus, they gonna talk about Lil Wayne, they gonna talk about nigga Nas, you feel me? She gotta be adapted to it, you feel me? She gotta be. Big skin? Have, yeah, you gotta have big skin, man. Go through it, but then some motherfuckers get on your motherfucker live and they be on Lil Wayne live, say the same thing. When we beat you up, what they be saying? They, they want attention, so I'm saying. So real yeah. shit though, do you when you was on there talking about like your breakup and all that shit being emotional, <clears throat> was that like on purpose? Like that was shit like you knew you were gonna get niggas talking shit and talking about or was you just like feeling it? She she did it. Like, oh know, she did it. Wow. That's so what I'm saying. She was really proud to like screenshot me and make it. Oh how old how old are you? How old are you, sir? Twenty six. Twenty six, like that's so like the, the, the things that happen now is so different from you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. What what the girls be on? That's crazy, man. Yeah, it's, it's fucked up. You see yourself on in real life? Man, it's all good. <laughs> you just gotta wait, but yeah, I see myself in real life. You do? Yeah, for sure. That's what's up, man. So you got the trouble kid? Let me see that trouble kid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is a shout out to my boy Jacquez. We got the trouble kid hoodie. You know what I mean? Trouble New clothing yeah, line. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, listen, he's 16 years old, man, trying to brand yeah, like his pops. He sees G4 Elite brand up. He said, you know what, pops, I'm going to start my own clothing line. Make sure you get at the KD, A-O-K-D. I said, all right, man. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I like this. That's for you, shit, man. man. Yeah, yeah, I need you, kid, man. You know what I'm talking about? Jacquez, we see you out here, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, man, so, you know, man, we appreciate you, man. We just want to show love to you, man. It's all love. We want to celebrate you. Give you your flowers, man. I, I mean, it's a lot of people hating on you. What you got to say to the haters, man? It's a lot of haters, man. It's a lot on. Let's talk about it. We ain't gonna act like they ain't hating on you. You gotta say, man, keep watching. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Cause we gotta address it. Well, no, we can't, we ain't gonna play, we ain't gonna play soft around here. You feel me? Yeah. We ain't gonna play tough either. <laughs> we real grown, we real respectful. But the haters, man, you know what I'm saying? From G Folo, if you don't fuck with my homeboy AK, you know, man, fuck you. You feel <laughs> me? That's how we moving out here in 2021. Hey. So what you got going on, friends? You good? You liking that song? You over there thinking about that song, ain't you? Yeah, I listen to some more than Ooh, she, she yeah. heard that. You said how sexy she said? She definitely said it. She said, like, she gonna be on some wine, listen to her, talking to somebody. <laughs> 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 hey, man, we out of here, man. That's the G4 Lee show, man. Hey, what can they find you? Let's, 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 let's give, uh, like, what can they find you? All platforms, AOKD. A-O-K-D, man. Y'all heard it, man. I'm Easy Numbers. You can find me on the G4 Elite Show. Um, that's on Instagram. That's on Facebook. That's on YouTube. 
And if you want to find me personally, you can find me at Measy Numbers. Queen Friends, where, you, where can they find you? <laughs> Official Queen Friends underscore on Instagram. Okay. P Boy, what you got? Instagram precise. P R E S I S E one O M one. I'm just gonna stay on it. Stay on it. And we're gonna stay on it, man. Again, thanks for tuning in, man. Look, we got more and more guests coming, man. We super excited. Y'all stay down with the campaign, man. We're Atlanta hottest podcast, hottest show coming out. The G4 Elite Show. And we out.